So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and then type in add remove programs. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down until you find camera. You want to click on the three dots and then click on advanced options. And now you want to scroll down again. And then you want to click on terminate and then click on reset. And then click on reset again. Wait for this to load. Now once that's been done, you want to scroll up and then click on set default apps. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down and then you want to click on camera. And now you want to make sure that everything here selected is camera. So you want to click on Microsoft Windows camera, you just want to click on this. And then make sure that you have camera selected. Click on set default. Repeat that for everything else that will come up here. Make sure that all of it says camera. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to expand cameras. And then you want to find a webcam or your camera. You want to right click on it and then click on update driver and then click on search my for drivers. Make sure you have the best driver installed for your device. And if your camera comes with a software, for example, if I was using a Logitech camera, it will come with the Logitech job software, but I don't have a Logitech camera, so that's why it's not showing here. But if you have a camera that comes with a software, you want to head over to the software and then click on your camera. And then you want to click on settings and make sure that your firmware is up to date. Another thing you could also try is unplugging your camera and then plugging it back in. You could also try to unplug it and then plug it into a different port. See if that works for you. But when you complete all these steps, you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.